In this video, we'll introduce you to the Pixotope mobile app Pixotope Pocket and guide you through the setup step by step. With Pixotope Pocket, there is no need for a professional camera and specific tracking hardware. The user can use the camera of their iPhone to stream footage, while Pixotope Pocket adds the camera tracking part. Video and tracking data are transmitted via SRT stream through a local network to the local machine that has Pixotope graphics installed. In this video, we will create an AR scene and play around with our mascot Dot. Step 1. Download Pixotope Pocket from the iOS App Store. There is no cost to download, but Pixotope Pocket is only available to Pixotope Education Program partners. So you'll need to get in touch with us for access. Once you receive the link, it will lead you to the app in your App Store, where you can download it. You will also need Pixotope graphics up and running on your local PC. It's important to note that your phone and your PC must be on the same network. Step 2. Configure Pixotope graphics on your render machine. Open Pixotope Director, where you will see a list of shows that you already created. Click Create a new show, choose From Existing Project and set a name. Then choose the location of your project and select the project you want. In our case, we have already downloaded the Pixotope mascot example project from the Pixotope Cloud, which we will now link to our new show. You've now created a show. Open it by clicking on the yellow button to the right. Then go to Setup, Configure, Camera Tracking. Create a camera system, name it and make sure to set the camera tracking protocol to Pixotope Pocket. Next, route the camera system in Setup, Configure, Routing, using the plus sign in the upper right hand corner. In the expanded camera item, double check that the input is set to SRT and the mode to Listener. The pocket tracking protocol should have set these automatically. The camera's resolution and frame rate have to match Pixotope pocket settings. By default, it should be 1080p resolution and 30 frames per second. To complete the next step, make sure to note your camera's port number in the expanded camera item and your machine's IP address, which is visible on top next to the machine name. Now you're all set. Go back to your show via Show Launch. If you want to keep editing and testing the scene, you have to launch it in editor first. The final viewing though should always be launched live, as it has better performance and render quality. So next, launch the level in editor. In our case, we are creating an AR scene, so we have to make sure that AR is enabled. In editor, go to World Settings, search for AR and check the box Enable AR. Step 3. Enter the IP address of your random machine. Now open Pocket on your iPhone and go to Settings using the cog icon. Under Connection Settings, enter the IP address of your PC into the Send To field. This action is a simple, self-explanatory step, but it's essential. It ensures that the camera feed from your phone makes it to the local system running Pixotop graphics. If needed, enter your camera system's port number in the port field. Go to Video Settings to ensure that resolution and frame rate match the configuration in Pixotop Director. Tap the cog icon again to leave settings. Step 4. Calibrate the camera tracking. Camera tracking merges the physical and virtual worlds together, so we need to make sure to calibrate it properly. By tapping on the home screen of your iPhone, you can set the origin point, the intersecting red, green and blue lines, and align it with your scene. Once calibrated, your phone will know where to place the AR objects in your scene. And now, press the big red button and check the status of your SRT and tracking connections. Both have to be connected, which is indicated by a green circle. Step 5. Stream your camera feed and add AR elements. Once you've pressed the red button and your connections are established, you start streaming and your phone's camera feed will appear in the Pixotope engine on your PC. If you work in editor, you will have to press the play button on top of your scene for the stream to come in. Now you will be able to add your AR elements. You can control the AR elements by using the control panel. Launch the control panel from the launch panel under Show, Launch. In our case, we let our mascot Dot enter the room. 
We let him juggle some bolts. We change the color of the bolts. We let him say goodbye. And finally exit the scene. And we have it! Now we've been able to jump through both the setup of Pixel to Pocket and a potential use case of adding an AR element. Now it's up to you to unleash your own creativity.